Hello, my awesome and amazing Leos. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Subject matter this week. Hey, we are in a waxing moon phase headed towards the blue moon in the sign of Pisces. What does the blue moon mean? Well, it means that there are two full moons within a calendar month. Traditionally speaking, many, many centuries ago, we were supposed to have a 13-month calendar. Okay, so that's the reason why we get two full moons within a calendar month. Okay, so currently now, the way planetary alignments, all of that stuff, we are, you know, in a Mercury retrograde right now. So communication, everything could seem really wonky. Don't make, you know, big ticketed purchased items, etc. Um This is a portal of energy when we have that second full moon in a calendar month. So because we're in a waxing moon phase, this is the time to be on the grow, to really think about where it is your life is headed, where you want to see it go, and taking the necessary actions in order to make something happen. Okay, so take this energy, take this energy and use it as like a fuel, a gasoline, we'll say, to push you in your mental state of awareness to go after and get what you want. Okay, Leo. So we're using the blue moon card from the moonology Oracle deck. It says, believe in the impossible, the blue moon. You can even use white and light pale blue candles uh, to place your intentions. You can carve your intentions from the bottom of the candle and upwards because you want to draw all the energy up towards you. Okay. The intention, you can anoint it with olive oil, placing all of your intentions into the olive oil to anoint your candle, okay? Um, blue is healing, but it's also a color of communication. White is purifying and also protective as well, okay? So you can, you know, go to your local metaphysical gift shop. They have like, you know, the four inch chime candles. You can even go to the craft stores, you know. I would say don't get more than a six or an eight inch candle, okay? Um, so you can light that up on the day of the blue moon, which will start tomorrow on August 30th of 2023. And full moon energy lasts about, traditionally speaking, about three days, okay? So you can burn your candle down <clears throat> in small increments throughout the next three days from the blue moon. So it would be the 30th, the 31st, and the 1st, okay? So we're going to see what kind of energy is going to come into the cards today. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Leo viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is... We have the power of number seven, power of number three, and power of number nine. Okay, so it looks like we are going to the number 19. Seven and three is 10. 10 and nine is 19. 19 in tarot would be one of your traditional major arcana cards, which is the sun card. So that does represent the sign of Leo. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancerian or another Leo born in the month of July. And yes, a lot of you Leos were born in the month of August. You could also be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March. You could also be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. You could possibly be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Picking up on strong Aquarius energy through the number 17. Also very strong Scorpio energy through the number 13, okay? Some of you could have been born in 1971, 1973, or possibly 1979. You could have also been born in 1991, 1993, or even maybe possibly 1997 for some of you. You could be 31 37, or possibly 39 years of age, okay? Going to the power of number 19 for the beautiful star sign of Leo, blue moon in the sign of Pisces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And 19, trusted ancestors of my Leo viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, for this blue moon in the sign of Pisces? What does Leo need to know? Show me what's up. The queen of wands, there you are, Leo, male or female. I say manifestation, knowing your power right now, Leo. Somebody is highly attracted to you. Because the Queen of Wands and also King of Wands can bring in a lot of passion, lust, desire, a driving force. Yes, manifestations, going after and getting what you want, not backing down, okay? Some of you love sunflowers. Some of you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And you have a beautiful Ace of Cups headed in your direction. Could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So real love is headed in your direction, Leo, or a bigger love. It could be healing. It could be cleansing, renewal, reconciliation, a marriage proposal. Show me what this Ace of Cups is all about. Whoever was wearing a, <clears throat> a false mask with you, Leo, they could be letting their guard down in order to open up and express this greater love unto you, okay? You could have your heart guarded right now. Maybe you're the one that's been wearing the false mask, you know, maybe because of, you know, protecting your emotional heart space. But I feel like spirit wants you to let that mask down Learn how to be a little bit at a time, you know, stepping back into your comfort zone, okay, to be vulnerable, okay? You don't have to be like a robot where you show no feelings, no emotions, or this is somebody else, a person that you're dealing with. Again, we've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Somebody wants to reveal their true feelings towards you, Leo, The world card, you could be at an end of a cycle. There could also have been a revelation in the past where you could have been heavily into somebody and they showed you their true colors or that they were wearing a false mask with you in regards to long-term commitment. So you could have also, <clears throat> hang on one second. <clears throat> you could have also Put an end to a situation because you could have gotten fed up. You could be dealing with another fixed sign, an Aquarius, Taurus, possibly another Leo or a Scorpio. The world card talks about endings to old karmic patterns and cycles. You could have even found out too that there were falsified family members that you thought that had your back. Some of you went no contact with family members or friends. Maybe you saw through them, saw their true colors. So this is only, <clears throat> for some of you, this could be confirmation. If you walked away, put an end to something, a connection with the person or a friend, family member, whatever, or maybe even a job situation, you're on the right path, okay? Because after the world card would start the fool card, which is card number zero. You're back down at ground zero. It's the cosmic egg. Now you can wipe the slate clean as to where you feel your life is headed. Now, it could very well be true that you may be dealing with somebody who lives overseas. You could be questioning whether or not this person overseas is the real deal. I don't know because we got a, somebody wearing a false mask. I'd say proceed with caution, please. That person needs to come and see you. Don't go traveling into another country, you know, when you haven't physically seen a person. You know what I mean? And I know that 
for a lot of you in that situation, you could be craving love, but you know, you got to go in baby steps. Okay. But this is showing me that there is an ending and a new beginning is going to happen here. Somebody from the past is returning. Listen, we're in Mercury retrograde. Somebody wants to reconnect. Could be, a, I've got more water energy going on. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And it doesn't matter. You don't have to be dealing with a water sign, of course. No, somebody's being highly reminiscent of the past. You could have put an ending to a situation or somebody is thinking about you. Maybe they're wondering where you're at right now. Who's to say? Maybe you blocked this person on social media. Maybe they blocked you. Somebody's going to get unblocked because the Six of Cups can also bring in communication, but it is talking about the past. Some of you also had to go into deep therapy. Uh, you could be in your adult years, obviously, and you might even be dealing with adult childhood wounds, okay? Dealing with things from the past, trying to heal from the past from past afflictions. But I also believe anytime I see the imagery of children in a card, either you want children or you have children or childhood wounds need to be healed or you're reminiscing, yes, about the past or this person's reminiscing about you. But I also believe the statement of believe as a child believes. Pretty much with ultimate faith. Yeah, somebody's coming in to rectify a situation or to bring something back to life. Um, this definitely feels to me like a person from the past. They're wanting you or it could be somebody that you are dealing with now, but you met them a while ago. Again, they could have ghosted you, went silent. They were holding back emotions, wearing a false mask, all of that stuff. Now, this is very strong Scorpio energy with the judgment card, okay? Somebody could come crying back to you for forgiveness, you know, especially if they closed out a cycle with you. You could have even told this person that you, that you felt that you and this person were soulmates, so there is still a heavy attraction that's going on here, Leo. What is judgment? The four of swords. When this person returns, you may need to take a time out to think things out, Leo. You may need to decipher using your best wisdom and judgment if you're going to decide to give this person a chance. And when this person does return and you feel tongue twisted or you don't know what to say to this potential suitor or if this is an ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, etc. Okay. If you go to the channel on YouTube, The Art of Love, the host's name is Lucia and in her playlist... She's got a very powerful video called The Six Things to Say When Your Ex Returns. You have to know what to say. And even if you weren't boyfriend, girlfriend, or girlfriend and girlfriend, or boyfriend and boyfriend, whatever the case may be, you still need to be prepared and to logically ask the right questions without having your emotions override you so that it can turn into a very ugly argument. You don't want that because you need to stay, when this person comes back, you need to be in, in that energetic higher position, knowing your own value, your self-worth, your self-concept. Some of you Leos were dealing with, you know, strong narcissist, <laughs> you know, for a lot of you, you could have been emotionally damaged 
by this particular person. It could have been an abusive situation. And hopefully none of you guys really went through physical abuse. Mental abuse is <laughs> mental abuse is bad. No, I don't want that on anybody. But if you did, please proceed with caution. But you need to know what to say without your emotions getting you all tripped up. People don't know this, but Leos are very ultra super sensitive. I've heard so many people say, oh, Leo, they don't show emotions and it's all about them and, and whatever. You know, every single zodiac sign, we have our positive traits and our negative traits. It is true. Go slow. Think it out. Think your words out. You do not need to respond to this person right away, especially if it's been, you know, a few weeks, maybe a few days, it's been a couple months, and again, maybe even a few years. Don't allow this person to rush or force you into making a decision right away. Take your time. This is all about reconciliation. Somebody's trying to come in to reconcile a situation. It could be a friend, family member, a former lover. Be prepared. on what to say because they need to the thing here is they could come in with a lot of emotion but guess what I don't have any coin cards to show me as the outsider looking in that this person is going to put in the work okay you might even find out that this person went through a break a breakup and then trying to figure out how to retrieve back to you words are just words but Leo's you need action you need to see action that this person is really going to make the effort so think your words out go to that video you know there's a, a lot of other coaches that specialize in relationships on what to say, especially if you've been ghosted. Maybe you had a really great date with someone and, you know, they just disappeared. And then they come back all of a sudden, out of nowhere. And you're just like a deer in headlights. It's like, mm, no. And it could make you feel good that that person's reaching out, but you have to... You have to go by your morals, codes, and ethics of, especially if you're at a new phase of dating, Leo, what are they going to do to show you effort? And you have to know what to say so you don't get walked all over and think that, and have this person think that they can just come back in anytime that they want. So there's a judgment call going on right now with this person, whoever this person is. Whoever do you see in your mind's eye right now? So, my awesome and amazing Leos, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.